Hey kid, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh boy, this sounds serious. This is absolutely the worst alphabet book ever. What? Uh-huh, all the letters that misbehave. Oh, this sounds promising. And make words nearly impossible to pronounce. Whoa, so if it's, if it's that crazy, why is it a New York number one times bestseller according to that part that you're pointing at? Well, because uh, there are people who like funny books that challenge them and make their heads explode. Exactly. Hold on to your heads, everybody! It's gonna get crazy! It's gonna get wacky. P is for what? Pterodactyl? No! No! It's already started. It's for pterodactyl. That's right. It's as if the P were invisible, but it's actually there. Let's see, where is this book taking us? Well, through the alphabet. So we have 26 crazy moments ahead of us. I can feel it. And a warning right from the beginning. Did you know that there are some really wacky words that start with a silent letter? Most of the time you can just ignore that pesky first letter and sound out the rest of the word. But, 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 but. Be careful. There are other words in this book that don't follow the rules. Look to the back of the book for help with some of the most mischievous words. Huh. Mischievous, eh? <laughs> yes. Some of you love mischief. A is for aisle. What? A for, is it ale? No. Is it aisle? Yes. As if there was no A. Of course, if there was no A, it would be aisle for island. But instead, it's aisle for pathway. The bread aisle has not been cleaned in aeons. Not aeons, eons. And nine tiny beasts meet to have a feast. Oh boy, that's right, eons. It's the same. Without the, it's as if the A wasn't there. B is for what? Delium. That's right. B is for delium. Like that. Oof, we doubt anyone knows what delium is, but it's the only word dumb enough to begin with a silent B. Oh boy, oh boy. So because it's a smart book and it's not going to leave us hanging because that would be rude, it actually tells us in the back in the craziest glossary ever that delium is a sticky and good smelling resin made by a specific species of tree that grows in parts of Africa and Asia and it's even burned as incense in some ceremonies. So how about that? Now we know, Delium, I learn things just like you every day. C is for czar. That's right, czar. The fascinating czar is secretly part Czech. Czech, Czech, my Czech, Czech. That's right, C and Z could be czar or C and Z could be Czech. That's right. The rule is, there are no rules. Crazy. D is for Djibouti, eh, eh, Djibouti, eh, eh. The boat race begins when the handsome judge from Djibouti drops his handkerchief from the bridge. That's right, it's Djibouti. Little, little country in Africa. E is for you, not like you, more like you. Eileen the you, <gasps> what? That's my name, what, what? Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. What, you didn't know your name was in this book? I totally didn't know, it was my first time reading it. Wow, that's so cool. I know, it's very exciting. Eileen the you, uh, I don't look like that though, was so euphoric, the wolves were eaten, she even gave the eulogy. That's right, E, that sounds like a U, and Eileen, well, my name is one of those names that the E sounds like it's silent. It sounds like it's just from the I, Eileen. The U sounds like a, like a, well, like a U. It was so euphoric. And then Eaton, that does sound like an E. Uh, and eulogy, back to the U sound. F is not for photo, phlegm, fui, or phone. F is only for photo when you speak fluent Spanish at home. That's right. Foto is photo in Espanol, which is with the F, but not in English. Oh no. Uh, G is for gnocchi. 
That's right, you're gonna see this on a menu at an Italian restaurant and you're gonna wanna say not ganache and it's gnocchi. The gnome yells, waiter, there's a bright white gnat nibbling on my gnocchi. Oh, not a gnat on your gnocchi for the gnome. Oof, that's tough. Gnomes, gnats, gnocchis. Hmm. H is for air. That's right, it sounds like air that we breathe, but it's air, not to be pronounced hair because that's the kind that's actually on your head. So the honest heir admits that herbalism isn't his cup of tea. All the H words that you don't hear. Honest, heir, herbalism. <laughs> I is not for I. We asked the pirate if he has two eyes and he said, I, I. J is for Hylai, Juanita, and Bjorn happily played Hialai before eating fajitas in Juarez. Uh, that's right. J, hi, sounds like a ha 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 sound, ha ha. And some people put, pronounce Juanita instead of the J, they'll say uh, Juanita, like a W. It's Juanita in Spanish. It's not Juanita eating fajitas in Juarez. K is for knight. Da 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 da. Oh, you caught me, Green Bear. It's not knight. It's a knight, but not knight as in night and day. The kind of knight who has shining armor. The noble knight's knife nicked the knave's knee. Not the poor knave. Oh, what to do, what to do. L is not for L. An elephant named L, or it could be Ellie, rode the L train halfway to El Paso and dined on Hearts of Palm with her folks. That's right, it's L as in E-L. This sounds just like L and L and oh, my brain is melting. M is for mnemonic. Mnemonic. Oof. Is your head exploding off of your neck yet? Because mine is starting to. But now Mr. M can't remember why M is for mnemonic. Well, a mnemonic, handy dandy glossary in the back tells us it's a way to make something hard to remember easy. So if you're trying to remember the Great Lakes, it shows us a mnemonic. Holmes, which is really Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, Superior. So to remember the Great Lakes, you remember Holmes, and then you kind of remember from the first letter. And see, so it's like an easy way to make you remember a bunch of hard things. N is for naught. Not, not. N is for naughty children who will sing a solemn hymn when autumn comes to an end. Ah, N is for naughty and nice, but not, not. O is for Ouija, like a Ouija board. Or Ouija, I've heard it said, Ouija. O is not Ouija. The French leopard says, oui, we love to play Ouija with we witch from Oaxaca. Oh boy, all these O words that don't sound like O. Oaxaca, that's a state in Mexico. Ouija, oui, uh, that is how we say uh, yes in uh, French. Oui, like if it's a W. P is for pterodactyl, the title of the book of the most messed up alphabet ever. Ptolemy, the psychic pterodactyl, struggles with psoriasis. Yes, those are all words, and they are in the glossary if you don't know what they are. Key is for quinoa. We can enjoy quinoa and quiche by the quays of Qatar. Storyteller doesn't eat quinoa, but she does eat quiche. Not by the quays of Qatar, though. That's too far away. Although, I do have palm trees and sun where I live, and occasionally a camel visits. R is not for R, as in R U O K. In England, ba, 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 the Queen proclaims, We aren't seeing the R's in butterfly, shark, or lizard. That's right, they don't say. Let me hear that again. Butterfly, shark, or lizard. You're right. I didn't hear an R in there. It's shark, shark, baby shark, shark, lizard lounge, the butterfly house, but no. Not if you're British. You just sort of over your eyes. S is for seas. Oh wait, but it sounds like 
C, but it's C's. C, C swam through the debris in the seas to see the imaginary Isle of New Arkansas. Ah, yes, the imaginary Isle of New Arkansas where cellos float and diamond rings await on dunes. T is for tsunami. The charging tsunami washed away all of Tchaikovsky's tchotchkes. Not all of Tchaikovsky's tchotchkes. Tchaikovsky, great pianist, composer, tchotchkes, all the little relics and things you pick up. Maybe they're from your travels or your toys, your little things that you like to keep, keepsakes, if you will. But TC is tchotchke. TC here, Tchaikovsky. TS, tsunami. U is not for you. Mm -mm. Oh, you could never have guessed that the wolf was disguised as the U. Oh, no, not Eileen the U. Turned out she was a wolf in sheep's clothing. Ba ba run. V is for five cinco. How romantic, Roman tick. These are Roman numerals, and the V stands for number five, actually, in Roman numerals. The wren wrapped the rabbit's gift in red, but forgot to write a note. W is for wren, again, silent W. And the wren wrapped, again, sounds like there's no W. Rabbit's gift in red, but forgot to write. All right, you don't hear the were right, right? Right, we don't hear that. And this is why we make spelling mistakes when we're learning to write when we're kids, because English is wacky, yo. X is for xylophone, not xylophone, xylophone. Javier's extra R made him an exceptional xylophone player. And I've seen this name pronounced Xavier, Javier. Some people actually do say the X and say Xavier. Uh, and, but then you have exceptional, okay? We hear, the, we hear the X after the E. Xylophone, though, right up in the front. Sounds like a Z. Y is not for why, but Eves, who is wearing yellow shorts, yells, Why is the Eiffel Tower upside down? Because it looks like a Y that way. Eves, that's why, not why, why. And finally, if your brain is still inside your head and your head has not exploded off of your body yet, Z is for Zhivago. Oof, I almost didn't make it there. I almost said xylophone because it sounds like a Z. Good night, Zhivago the zebra. I've enjoyed our rendezvous. Notice we don't say rendezvous. It's rendezvous. So we never actually hear the Z in zebra. We do hear it, not in rendezvous. And zhivago sounds like a zh. So we hear, we get an example of Z as a zh, as a z, as a nothing, and as a kh. So I'm exhausted. And here's the worst glossary ever that goes along with the worst alphabet book ever that's going to teach you things about L trains and Djibouti and Czechs and eulogies and Fooies and Ptolemy and who he is and the knave who's like a dishonest person. You don't want to ever be called a knave. And examples of what tchotchkes are like souvenirs and balloons are flying away along with the brain. Oh, and that was peace prepare. For pterodactyl. No, your brain is melting. It's pterodactyl. Okay, okay. Pterodactyl, the worst alphabet book ever. I thought it was the best I've ever seen. It was totally exciting. I didn't know what to expect. And now I think that now I understand why we make mistakes because the rules are crazy. I know they're totally crazy. Yeah, I know. It's like, it's not even crazy. It's crazy. Wait, why aren't you pronouncing the C? It's silent. No, it's not. I. And letting my words do some mischievous things, breaking the rules. Oh gosh, I think I may have started something. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time, where we sometimes blow your heads off a little bit, but it's all in the name of higher education.